of the lifestyle of, of fish in 15 Mile Creek is, is these fish, you know, return from the ocean um, after spending one or two years, sometimes three, in the ocean. They generally return early part of the summertime. Um, come up over Bonneville Dam. And I think historically, they probably came into 15 Mile Creek at that time, and and it's it's oversummered in 15 Mile Creek. But now, 15 Mile Creek has very low flow conditions when they return. Uh, fish either can't find it, or temperatures are, are not good. With the onset of, of Europeans coming to this, this area, of course, agriculture became quite popular, and there was development pressures on the stream for, for water. Sedimentation was always a, an issue. Water conditions, uh, the lack of water, water quality diminished, temperatures increased. Um, you know, we lost riparian shades, shade along the stream. The stream was straightened in some areas. We lost, you know, prime habitat structures and, and things that make, you know, streams healthy for fish. We've spent millions of dollars here. I think we've had you know, at least the Bonneville Power Administration funded habitat projects since the uh, the early 80s, possibly even before that time. And habitat conditions in, in the stream have improved significantly, but we still lack flow. And that's probably the, well, not probably, it is still the limiting factor for fish. In terms of recovery, it'll be a very tough road ahead for steelhead unless we recover more flow. Um, recovery would be very difficult without additional flow. Intuitively, groundwater is, is likely connected to surface water, and that would not be a surprise to find there's a connection. You know, this stream has been overappropriated for water for years, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'd be relatively confident there's a connection.